Crazy Horse. Basically, this was the name of that redesign I showed you. We're going to start incorporating this model with everything we do. There will never be another hidden edit button ever again in WordPress. <laughs> Over my dead body, right? It's, um, I also said we were never going to do another full redesign. So uh, <laughs> take that with a grain of salt, because we are. But basically, the whole idea is that we're incorporating user feedback a lot earlier, user testing, actually, a lot earlier in the process. So traditionally, the people who have tested and used WordPress during the crazy development phase, like we're in right now, are the hardcore geeks. You know, it's the folks like me who run their, who update their blog every single night just to get the latest bits of code. It breaks half the time, but it, that's part of the fun. It's like, you know, opening up your hood and tweaking it. Um, and we need to incorporate more regular people in that. Because as developers, I think you like lose a part of your brain when you gain the development part of the brain. <laughs> and you just sort of like will, will work around like horrible interfaces and stuff. And you just like sort of figure it out and you just do it, right? Um, so getting more normal people involved with the very early beta or alpha versions of WordPress, I think will make it a lot more robust in the future. And then finally, and the most important thing, well, I actually have this out of order, so, so I'm going to bounce. Uh, so the feedback loop, that's basically what I was talking about. So going backwards, the year of themes. Um, I would say like from the time we introduced the plugin system, which was around 1.2, until about 2.5, it was all about plugins. All the cool stuff was happening. What's happening now is that all the cool stuff is happening in themes. Because when you look at it, the way the theme system has evolved is it's essentially a set of display, and you can bundle, bundle plugins integrated with the very table. Um, so there's been some cool <coughs> stuff, just uh, two things that we've done. One was uh, Prolog, which Joseph actually worked on, was essentially Twitter in a box. Uh, if you have seen it, it looks just like the Twitter. <coughs> we used it internally for like, all the stuff that like, uh, we couldn't Twitter publicly, but we want to share with the rest of the company. We basically have an automatic prologue where people will post about what they're doing, where they're going, the bugs they're working on, the clients they're working with, everything like that. And it's a great way, because we're a virtual company, we have no office, to keep up with everything everyone's doing. We've actually started to make more of these. We now have like six or seven of these prologues. We'll make a new one for every single project. So if we're working with an external vendor, like for example, the iPhone app, we work with an external company to develop that. We have a prologue just for us. And so instead of sending back emails back and forth that take a you know, along and CC all these people, and then if a new person joins, how do they catch up? Do they, you send them like the past two months of email, it just sucks. We just have this prologue, and we write messages to each other, we leave comments, and then you know, if a new person joins, they just read through the archives. That's one example of the thing. Uh, another guy out in Europe did another one called Monotone. It's a photo blogging theme. Have you ever seen Monotone? It's kind of cool. It's a little bit under the radar. So you know photo blogs often have like one picture per post. We like kind of big and everything like that. What this does is a theme, when you upload the picture, it actually analyzes it. And it extracts some metadata and colors from it. And what it'll do is the post page will be completely custom matched to the image. So the width and the layout of the post will match exactly the image. And more importantly, the colors, the background colors of the page, will basically it'll look at the picture and analyze the colors and then find complementary colors for the background. This is really, really cool. So basically have a unique design for every single page on your site based on the photo that you just uploaded. And this is all happening inside the theme. Um, I hear there might be things, maybe Alex or some of the crowd favorite people might have something else to announce around here later. Um, but themes are where the actions, and we'll see that a lot more. Uh, that's all I got. Uh, thank you very much. If you want to contact me,